Charging him with a switch in May had a previous accusation against him revealed publicly on Monday. Text messages obtained by KHOU in Houston show an alleged exchange between Peterson and a different son's mother in 2013 in June, when that boy was four. In the text, Peterson first says the boy hit his head on the car seat, then acknowledges the boy was injured while being disciplined. No charges were filed, but the mother reportedly filed a report with Child Protective Services. A source tells R. Adam Schefter that the Vikings were aware of the previous allegation and still made the decision to reinstate Peterson after deactivating him over the weekend. Vikings Vice President and GM Rick Spielman on the decision. When you look at the photos, I, uh, the photos are disturbing. I, I understand that. But to be clear, you know, any matter that's involving the, the, the child uh, is very important for this organization. But we also think that it is right for him to go through the process legally. It has nothing to do with him as a football player. It has to do based purely on the facts that we have that, was pre that have been presented to us. Peterson's attorney, Rusty Harden, responded with this statement. The allegation of another investigation into Adrian Peterson is simply not true. This is not a new allegation. It's one that is uns unsubstantiated and was shopped around to authorities in two states over a year ago, and nothing came of it. An adult witness adamantly insists Adrian did nothing inappropriate with his son. There is no ongoing or new investigation. Stephen A., within the last 24 hours, this is the new information that has been uh, presented to us. Are you okay with his reinstatement now? I don't know. Um, I would need to know more. I think we would all need to, to know more. Uh, before jumping to any conclusions in this matter. I think it's one of those situations where obviously uh, the welfare and the well-being of a child is involved and it's something that we should all take very seriously. I don't think, the one thing that I will say is that I don't believe uh, that in situations involving children that the regular uh, uh, mantra applies in terms of being innocent until proven guilty because a child is considered a relatively defenseless human being uh, in desperate need of all of our assistance. Uh, it's, it, that's the one situation where it almost seems okay to jump to the presumption of guilt in order to protect the interest of the child first because they are relatively defenseless. So I understand that kind of thinking. I'm not opposed to it, uh, but at the same time, we don't know all the facts this surrounds. We don't know all the details. And to be quite honest with you, I'm incredibly uncomfortable venturing into that realm on a situation so sensitive as this without more facts to lean on. Stephen A., I'm sorry. The harder I look at this, there's no way the National Football League can allow Adrian Peterson to step onto the football field this Sunday. <laughs> It's just such a bad look, given certainly in, in light of this second allegation that came to light. Mm -hmm. Not sure about it. Again, it went to Child Protective Services. Nothing ever came of it. I don't think it will play significantly in this ca the current case that's uh, pending. Mm -hmm. But Stephen A., the league cannot allow this. And I know I'm jumping ahead here, but we're in just a few minutes going to talk about several women who have been elevated sure. in the NFL league office. Mm -hmm. to aid Roger Goodell and company in making these these kinds of decisions domestic violence child abuse and I think as a collective whole today they they have to make the decision to intervene and say no to I'm, I'm assuming this one came from the top from the owner Ziggy Wilf mm -hmm. and by the way as Adam Schefter was quick to point out last night on SportsCenter Ziggy has had his legal problems and mm -hmm. issues you can look those up if you so choose but Ziggy was yeah he was not present yesterday at that news conference and I wish he had been right because I think the buck has to stop with the owner yeah. I, I think he had to probably have the last word in that conference call that they had with Spielman and Zimmer GM and coach and whoever else was on it and I'd like to know what his logic was what his thought process was especially if they knew of both of these incidents or alleged incidents. So now, on the other side, I'm going to point this up again, and I, I'm going to do some recommended reading here. 
Today's USA Today has an in-depth background story on the way Adrian Peterson was raised in Palestine, Texas. Right. Headline, Peterson shaped by whippings. Number one lead-off anecdote here is that in middle school, Adrian Peterson acted up at school, and his father was waiting for him in the parking lot after school sure. and belt-whipped him in front of, says the story, about 20 other students. It's pretty humiliating. Yep. Okay, that's the way he was raised. Has to be enlightened now because this is 2014, and even though that's what you knew as a child, we all talked about how what we knew as children, sure. You have to, you have to wise up. You you have to come to grips with the fact that you can't punish when you're angry. They're all, again, we could go on and on, but but just keep it in balance. It, I think in Adrian's heart of hearts, he thought in both of these cases he was doing Absolutely. the right thing. I believe that with all my heart, but that still doesn't make it right, and it certainly doesn't let him off the hook. So now. The league faces yet another huge image problem here to the point that Radisson Hotels pulled its limited, it called limited sponsorship, but its banner hung behind whoever was speaking at that podium at the news conferences, and they said, we're out at least for a while, just to see how this plays out. Maybe they're out for good. But w we have to accept that other sponsors, I think they're going to get cold feet today. Maybe that will have impact on Ziggy. But I think mm -hmm. it's, it's up to Roger Goodell and his new decision makers. Which we will discuss. We will discuss well. to yeah. come down hard yeah. here and say, nope, can't do it. All right. Well, listen, in the interest of, of, of discussing stuff that, you know, folks ain't comfortable discussing, let's, let's be clear about something here. Let's take the obvious aside. We saw the photos of the child that was whipped by Adrian Peterson. It's a four-year-old son. Yep. We all know, in my eyes, that was child abuse. Sure. I've been on the record saying that. Yep. In your eyes, you felt the same way. You got whip marks from a switch all over your legs, your arm, your ankles, your back. I, that's a problem. We understand that. But Skip Bayless, I have an obligation, as do you, to take the thoughts of so many other people into consideration as opposed to just our own. There is nothing to discuss with Ray Rice. You punched a woman and knocked her out in an elevator and there's video of that. There's nothing to discuss. There's nothing to dispute. On this particular instance with Adrian Peterson, there are discussions and debates yeah. nationwide. On my show, on sure. Sirius XM Mad Dog Radio, I had 75% of my callers, black and white, north and south and west and east, talking about, well, this is what happened. I mean, if, if, it, were, if it were my parents, et cetera, they'd be in jail right now. I mean, Lord, look, could you imagine what it was like back then? These are the kind of things that they're saying. Sure. So obviously, obviously we live in a different age we do. where that is unacceptable. But my question is, do we know if this act by Adrian Peterson, while we both label it child abuse, do we know, was this continuous? Was this a one-time thing? where he sat there and hit his child, believing he was spanking his child, and in all of our eyes, spanked him excessively and, and, and went beyond the pale. Is this something that was a repeat occurrence? Is the mother going to testify that it's something that happened over and over and over again? Or was it a parent that spanked his child and was done with it, mm -hmm. and, then all, and then it happened one time, and this was the result of it? See, with Ray Rice and his fiance now wife, there's nothing to discuss. Well, Stephen A., you bring With up... Adrian Peterson, Stephen a., as a father... You're bringing up stuff that, that we all don't know the answers to, and which right. makes it so difficult, and why I, exactly. I agree with you when you said you just don't know, because now we're talking about intent, or, or the why, and I, and I think yesterday we all agreed that we didn't believe it was malicious, but with, the, with this latest accusation being revealed, we have to ask the question again, is it okay for him to be on the field, regardless okay, of intent? But to, to answer Stephen A's question, you know, the DA was quoted about the second allegation that just came said, to light. It, it looks like this wasn't a one-off, meaning that, that what we're, what's pending right now, maybe yeah. there were other cases of this with other kids 
of Adrian's. But we don't know so we don't, that. We don't know, we don't know that. that well, as we, of yet. we do know that, that that mom took that child and when he was four to Child Protective, right? Yeah, we do okay. know that. I, and, I don't know. Let me make one last ass. point here. Okay. The Vikings' point was, as we keep hearing from other owners, <sighs> due process. Okay. A legal expert is quoted today in USA Today as saying he knows of no state law or federal law that keeps an employer from acting before the legal process plays out. So there's there's no law of due process for an employer. He he can decide what he wants about an employee's future before the legal process well, plays out. We know that. We brought that up. If any of any one of us here at ESPN the, was accused, we wouldn't be working. Go ahead, Stephen well, A. Well, 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 the, the issue at hand, and, and see, that's the whole thing. We can say that definitively about Ray Rice. I don't know if we could say that definitively about Adrian Peterson because uh -huh. when people call when people call up to talk about Adrian Peterson, they're really not talking about him. Ultimately, they bring into focus their own life experiences yeah. in terms of parenting. I've had parent I had parents calling up to my radio show saying, "I wish somebody would tell me how to yeah. parent my how to <laughs> discipline yeah. my child." Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, he's right. We all talked about the fact that we all got disciplined in ways that probably would not be right today. They would so that's why accepted. it's such a tough ask. Um, gentlemen, the conversation will con continue in the days um, coming. So let's just leave it here. Uh, we will